All right, let's bind your wireless trainer to your wireless sensor. You power them both on. The red light comes on the sensor, and the home screen comes on the trainer. Hit the menu button until it says set up menu. Hit go. It says you want to restore the communication. You then It says set high. Change it by hitting the select button to set low, and that's what you want. Once you have what you want, in this case, hit set. Now it returns the setup menu, all right? It then goes back to the first step. That's already done. Even though it says set high, it has been set low. You're, you're good to go. Now we go and we're going to bind them. To bind them, again, you change the, the screen to say toggle. Now you have to hit the sync button on the sensor and the set button on the trainer within two seconds of each other. So I hit sync. The light goes out. I hit set and the light comes on solid. That means you have a connection. If it's a blinking light, you have to do the process again. But it's a solid light, meaning it works. So now I can just hit menu to run program. First technique, jabs. Now I can do the technique. See? And I'm just moving the sensor to show you what I'm talking about. And that's, and that's how you would do it for every, from that point on, these two are in sync. You don't have to do it again. So let's say we finish the workout, and we power them both off. To power off the trainer, hit the two left buttons at the same time. You want to have to manually power off the trainers. They do not shut off on their own when they're in the wireless. And then with the sensor, hit the power button, and the light goes out. Now, next time you're going to use it, you, you pick them both up, hit go, hit power. All you need to do is do that first step that we just went through. You hit menu until it says restore, set high, change it to set low, hit the set button, and we're ready to work out. And that's it. Now, to secure the wireless sensor onto any target, you can, first of all, put the trainer wherever you want. This could be upwards of 100 feet away from this. The sensor is always communicating to this trainer, but you can either work this independently or have the trainer attached to a computer. So let's now get rid of the trainer, and we now have the sensor. And this, what we're going to do is notice on the sensor we have different Velcro. We have the soft Velcro on one side, we have the rough Velcro on the, uh, the other side. We also have the rough Velcro on the two sides. You take that sensor and you put it where you want it. And again, because we have all three dimensions covered in an accelerometer, it doesn't matter what direction you put it in. And also, you make sure that you're putting the soft side against the rough side here. So you put it here. You can face this way, face that way. It doesn't matter. So let's just put it this way. Now it's on pretty solid, but now we want to make sure this doesn't move. To do that, you take the, the heavy strip of the soft Velcro, attach it to the top, attach it to the side, and then firmly attach it to the rough piece that's on top of your target or your back of your target, wherever it is. Now, it's not going to move anywhere, and you're good to go.